Welcome to Kim's Creations. I have an 11 by 14 inch oval canvas that I have prepped the back of. I also made sure that it was level when it's off of these lifts. My plan is to do an angel wing pour. Cupid's angel wings. So I have tried one previously on a different canvas and um, kept trying, kept trying, kept trying, and failed. The first time it came out okay, but it did not record. And I thought I could do it better, but um, yeah, all subsequent attempts failed. So I nicknamed that canvas Cupid's Cursed Canvas. So now let's find out today if this one is also cursed or if Cupid is going to show me some love on this one. So to start I have Amsterdam titanium white and it's leaving a mound on a mound not super super thick and not thin. This is going to be my base coat and it's a mix of my leftover paints from all the other um, from the Cupid's uh, failed canvas. And then I added a bunch of titanium white to lighten it up. It's gonna be my base coat. And before I completely thinned it down, I took out some here. It's exactly the same, but it's thicker. Same consistency as these three. So first what I'm going to do is I am going to use a um, five chamber split cup. I am going to put the pink in the middle chamber so that it helps to split the wings apart and it'll match this base coat. I want my wings to be primarily white, you know, angel, Cupid angel. And then I'm going to drizzle just a little bit and this is Folk Art Berry Wine Bordeaux is the name of this. So let's see what we get. Okay, so for the moment, I'm gonna put this down. I'm going to layer my cup. I'm not gonna need a lot of paint for this pour. Um, so I'm gonna start with that amount. Just about that, okay. And I'm going to use every other chamber or fill every other chamber. So the outside two will have white. Is that about even? Maybe a little bit more on this one. Okay. And here, I'm really just gonna drizzle and I'm actually not gonna do it on my canvas. <laughs> so I don't want this uh, Bordeaux, berry wine Bordeaux to take over the white. It is very powerful. So I'm not gonna put too, too much in but I want it there for sure as contrast. All right. And now I'm gonna put white back on top and I'm shaking this back and forth so that it doesn't pierce through um, the other colors. It's almost, it's basically a sandwich pour in a little cup or in a little divider. So I do not have very much paint in here at all. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the pink in the center one, just to bring the level up to the others. Okay. I think we're ready to roll. Now I'm gonna cover my canvas with this base coat, which is more fluid. And I'll be back 
Well, I'll speed you up, but um, I'll be back once I've got this coated. got this all leveled out. Let's get this up. Tilt it up. All right, I'm going to torch it one more time and then we're going to do the wing pour. All right, come on Cupid. Is that another goober? All right, so what I'm gonna do, I am going to start about right in here, and I'm gonna hold this as close as I can to the canvas. Now I purposefully filled that center chamber more than the others so that it would come out first. And there we go. And I'm going back and forth very slowly to create that wing. And you can see that dark tinge on my left, so your right coming out. And now we've got some of that red, I don't know where, it, oh, it's underneath the white on my left side. It's coming up in little bubbles, as you can see. I think I've wandered, ah, there we go, here it is. going to be kind of interesting. All right, so I went a little off center here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move this. The weight of the paint is at that top area where closest to me. So I'm just trying to See if I can center it a little bit more. It's not really happening. So I'm just going to walk the paint down. And just move it side to side. Right to left. Slowly opening these up. I 
know that this looks like angel wings either. I'm gonna take this off this end. I'm just gonna bring all this back. I'm gonna just try and take that off the end up here. Get all that off. I'm just going to let it come back down. I'm trying to get the weight of the paint over here to swing this around and hopefully down. Let's see where that edge is down here. So it is working. Bring it down further. And back around. Sorry, I'm bringing it back up. I want to try and take some off on this side. Let's see where that ridge is, but I need it to come back up further here. And this is not what I was going for either. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm doomed. I just really wish that my first one had recorded and of course it just didn't. Trying to do this very carefully. I just want that edge to go over. But I'm gonna start getting the white. Oh, I think I might have just saved it. I'm bringing that paint back. Hmm. Yeah, this is not what I was after either. I might have to just reconsider this whole thing. I think I'm going to just embellish this. I'm going to take my chopstick here. Maybe I can create the illusion of wings. I'm making my own rules. Who says we have to abide by other rules, right? 
So here we go. I think in the end I made this work. Um, it does look like wings, so. I'm gonna call this a success. Plus I'm really tired of pouring with pink. <laughs> it's not, I mean, it's a lovely color. It's not one of my favorites though, but there it is. Um, let me know what you think of this piece in the comments below. And um, thank you as always for being here. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscription button, hit the thumbs up. And uh, the next time I upload a video, you will be notified.